The Nebula, Beige Meddenbrook, A True Friend by Sage Down. Some time after that, Beige Meddenbrook and the Nebula and the others came back from limbo after a thousand years. At first, the little bit had a bit of hard times to get adapted to the new modern world. But it didn't take much time for them to adjust this fast. Because most of them actually went back to their original home world. Except for Rocco, since his home was basically gone. His village was abandoned sort of centuries ago and was just ruins. And that is also for means. But Sir Nebula, she was actually very surprised to see that her hometown was still there. But it didn't have any royal family anymore, which it had a thousand years earlier. But she was actually very surprised to see that ponies there had actually lived by her name, by her spirit, over past generations. And even to see those ponies actually saw her, the first thought that she is a fraud, a, pret a pretender, imposter. But she actually was telling all of those ponies true. In fact, Twilight was even with her when they returned home, that she could confirm that she was actually the true Cinebula. Soon had the news spread across Equestria that the old pillars of Equestria had actually returned. At first, many opponents didn't even believe it. At first, when Mage Meadowbrook had returned, she found her descendant, Cat Cattail, had actually taken care of their ancestral home. She was happy to see that her home was still at the same when she left it. She was actually happy to see her descendant, and they both spent a lot of time together almost every night talking about family history, what has happened about from her. Her own child has been growing up and having her own family ever since. since. And that uh, Cat Tail had actually even provided Mage Meddenbrook with some new medicine knowledge over the past thousand years. And she was so grateful to having her to send there as an assistant to open her clinic again, once again, but at the same time to expand it a bit more. It only had a time when Mesh, Mesh Meddenbrook has actually felt a little bit sad about all of this. Even being back was happy for her. She'd see her home was still there, she had descendants who take care of it, and that more, or even her friends would even return, but seeing the entire world has been so much different from her, with skyscrapers, major cities with thousands, perhaps a hundred thousand people ponies are living in, and the capital city was so much different, that the Celestia Luna is still there, but much of her past has been altered. She even spent a lot of time with Rocco, which she actually tried to help to adapt in the modern world, because she and her rest of the other pillars was actually adapting very fastly. But Rocco was the one, the only pony of the heroes, has a very hard time to adapt to a new age. But later with Twilight's help in the Yak Yona, she managed to help him, even with some help from Mage, to help Rocco to adapt to a new modern age. But you see, one other thing that the Nebula was actually was impressed to see all how her hometown was still in the perfect condition, even though some of those, a lot of buildings were still the same as she left it. She had to build, get her new home, of course, but at most, she became the med meditation guru for the people the ponies in town, how to help them to relax, find the inner peace by through meditation and the emotional speaker pony. Even though that her own family was gone. But she also had a few descendants living in her hometown, since she was actually married to Prince Hassan and had some children with him before she vanished. At first, her descendants had no idea who she actually were, that she was the real Cinebula, 
or to someone who intends them to be her or looks like her. But from marriage to hell from twilight, they actually confirm she was actually their ancestor. And she was just happy to have some family remain in the hometown over those so long. Even that Major Medenborough herself sometimes left her home to travel across Equestria. Most of you see how Flash, Mag Flash Magnus, Miss Main, Stars for the Bearded, even Rock has been having during this time. Seeing her old friends was has actually easily adapted to her new world was more than than she could ever ask for. Even at the same time, she was actually seeing one particular pony, a, a stallion from Maid Heaven. He was actually a doctor. They were seeing each other for about a few months before something did happen. At some point there, he actually decided to break up her, or he decided to take a break from her. Not that, that, that they separated or break up or something, just decided to take just a small break to because he had a very hard time during his business at the doctor. Because this was during the time when many ponies was very hurt during the summer when it was one of those extremely heat waves going on going on for nearly five hundred years. So he had to spend all his time at the hospital to take care of the children, the elderly, which made Madenbrook actually accept it. It took them about two months before they could have had some more time to spend it together. But during this time, Mage Meadowbrook felt very sadly lonely. So she reached out to her friend Snebula and asked her if she could come over for a visit sometime because Cattail could take care of the cannon for some time afterwards. And Snebula had no mind to see her old friend again. So Mage actually traveled all the way to Snebula's hometown, Snebula. And just to spend time with her old friend. At first, she could notice how much sad Mage were actually were, and she asked her if something was happening or if something was bad in her life. But Mage actually told her that her life has been so great. Had opened her clinic once again and seen at this particular special sun pony. And Sunebula then asked for some more details about this stallion. All that she could wanted to tell was that he was a doctor from Maid Haddon, but they haven't seen each other for about two months. And Snebla was a little bit curious why they haven't seen each other for about two months. And Mage actually told her that they have been seeing each other because he had a very hard time now during this heat wave of going on through Christia. And since Snebla was actually living in this more desert region, so she would understand that most opponents who doesn't live in that particular warmer climate didn't couldn't resist much of the heat. But luckily for that, this heat wave didn't last that long, only for about a month and a half. But he, Mace Meadowbrook's boyfriend, he had to still take care of some of the after effects of the, the pony. Because during this heat wave, a lot of water Reserves and Manhattan was very low, so he had to take care of had to travel mostly to the, the home to the elderly ponies to look after them. And he did even take off, he even worked after his work shift was over, he even worked after his shift. He didn't care if he had to work overtime to make this to work, but he actually was focused most on his work. But he even wrote letters to Mage Meddenbrook telling her how much he missed her, how much he loved her, and how much she means to him that, that she was actually one of those few inspirations to make him to be, wanted to be a doctor. And that took her very deeply as so much as how much she loves to hearing how much of some pony actually looked up to her as an idol, as, a, as an inspiration source, how to want to help others. She was actually happy about it. 
And even though the time when Mage Manabrook was in Celeveland's hometown, they did actually spend a lot of time. They actually meditated together in the public for the other ponies. They even had funny nights. They even had singing together. They used to talk about old times, old adventures, old memories. That actually cheered her up a lot. But then she had received a message from Cattail that she needed to come back because now they had a lot of more ponies that had been requesting for help and they had and they had all the ponies overwhelmed her even more so she had to come back even though that mage didn't want to go back so soon but she has to but Sunevla said that she will come to her next time as soon as possible and mage gave her a hug and they they gave her had each other back, and Mage had actually then traveled back home. Even though most of the time when Mage was back home, she actually took care of all the business with help of Cattail. And even though it turns out that Fluttershy had actually came back from another visit, she even had been asked by Cattail to help during the business at the clinic, which she did only for a couple of days. May was actually happy to see her new friend again. And to some at there, Radishai and Mesh Medenbrook actually connected. They were actually connected in a spiritual way because they shared the same passion to help animals, help ponies, to be kind. They were the same like the same element. She couldn't even stop listening to all her adventures when she had with the elements of harmony with her friends. She couldn't even stop listening. She was actually listening carefully to all the stories. Even when Cinebula was there. She and Cinebula was just sitting there looking at Fluttershy or her friends telling them the stories, the adventures they had been through. They were actually just very passionate about it. And they even told to Fluttershy and her friends also about their old stories, their old adventures. How to save Equestia from the sirens, how to save them from a an horde of griffins trying to take over in a village for the, for the gold or everything else. They were actually very happy to be there. So Nebula, she was actually so happy to be with her friends. Even so much time they have been separated during it there that Mesh had to take care of her clinic and that Sinevla had to take care of her new home in her hometown with some descendants of the But there was one thing that Sinevla was so more happy to that was actually when Mesh Medenbrook had asked her to be her bridesmaid. It turns out her boyfriend actually had came over for the visit only for about two months after this heat wave was going on. After all this, everything's aftermath was coming down really much, really, really much. He actually came over for a visit and he had a surprise. He actually had proposed to Mesh Medenbrook and she was more beyond happiness. At first, she didn't. First she thought, should she say, no, I want to wait, but at the same time she just want to say yes. She couldn't say no, because he has not been so kind to her, so passionate, so lovely, very helpful. He had actually been at the clinic helping her a lot of time when Cattail was away. He even had to take off some time off from his work to help her. And they actually got married the same heartwarming eve, which was actually a special day for them both. Even that Cinebula was also present during the wedding, she was just happy to see her best friend to have got married, especially with a special song point. Cinebula, she was also hoping to find her with a special song point soon. And but then it came over some, some time hard afterwards. Cinebula, she was told by Mage that she had been asked by her husband to leave her home 
to move to Manhattan to stay there and to be like a doctor there. But Mage, she didn't want to leave her her old home and live in Caltel by her, himself to take care of the clinic. But her husband said that they could hire a some other pony to help Cattail as an assistant, and that she could travel back and forward to see how the business is going. At first, that page wasn't much unhappy about that idea, and they had this an argument, and so Mitch actually decided she didn't want to stay in Manhattan because of this, so she actually moved back home, they were still married, but she needed some time off from him. And of course, Snebula was very unusually unhappy to hear that her old friend, her best friend, was an Ehanan, so very unhappy. She had only heard her story of the sign, but she didn't want her to know exactly what's going else going on. She couldn't ask Cattail about some things because he was out of picture. He had no much about this information either. So she actually went all the way to Maid Hat to talk to her to make her husband. And he filled in some other details which she already know. And they actually had to talk about this. Why couldn't that why wouldn't they just live together in Maid Haddon, but that she could actually have her still work at the clinic during like the weekends or that she could actually move to Manhattan, open a second type of store or clinic in Manhattan, and that she could still travel back and forward between her new home and her old home and see how this business was going. Her husband thought that idea could actually work, and they had to try at least try it, and that he was hoping that Mage would actually accept that idea. And Cinebla was at first a little bit skeptical and fell herself if Mage was actually going to accept the idea. But she was having her idea hoping she would. And when Snebula actually went to Mage's old hall, she actually delivered this message from her husband and even informed her this was her, her own idea and informing that. Snebula saw, saw that Mage was actually not mad, she was just surprised to see how much she was helping her best friend how to work out with her marriage because she didn't want to see her in a divorce or a breakup because they just had been married for nearly about almost a year. And that didn't, she didn't want to see her unhappy again. So Mage actually started to figure out maybe they could do it and try it. So she opened a small store in Manhattan, close to the house below, and she traveled back and forward maybe once or twice in a month to see how the business in the clinic in her old home was going. And at first it seems working. And after a while, she didn't actually didn't see much of any trouble in that. And then it turns out only about two years later, Mage actually found out she was pregnant with twin daughters. Her husband was very very happy to be a father, and she was happy too. And they actually had invited Cinebula to be the godmother of the children, and even there to be the like a legal guardian. If something would happen to her or him, they would make sure to make sure that twins are happy and safe with Cinebula because they know that she is so responsible. And even at this time, Cinebula. She had also been engaged for about a few months. She actually married later married a local man pony from in her hometown. So Mage and Snebla, they have been through in so much over time, but they still remain some very good friends, loyal, always helping each other, no matter what happens, no matter the danger, no matter what. And that's how Snebula and the Mage Meadowbrook found a true friendship. The end.